Hello guys! This is Hazel and welcome to Wellness Today. So for today's video, I will be talking about vitamins and minerals. Vitamins is being classified into two, the fat-soluble vitamins and the water-soluble vitamins. There are four types of fat-soluble vitamins, and what are they? They are vitamins A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. What are the water-soluble vitamins? They are the vitamin Bs, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, Folate, which is the vitamin B9, biotin, which is the vitamin B7, choline, inositol, and vitamin C. Fat-soluble vitamins play an integral role in a multitude of physiological processes such as vision, bone health, immune function, and coagulation. These vitamins are dissolved in fats. They are absorbed by the fat globules that travel through the small intestines and distributed through the body in the bloodstream. Excess fat-soluble vitamins are stored in the liver and fatty tissues, known as adipose tissue, for future use. These type of vitamins are better absorbed if eaten with fat. Remember that if taken in excess, they can accumulate to toxic levels because these type of vitamins are not readily excreted. How about a water-soluble vitamins? These type of vitamins are carried to the body's tissues but are not stored in the body. Water-soluble vitamins dissolve in water and readily absorb into the tissues for immediate use. Because these vitamins are not stored in the body, they need to be replenished regularly. So now, let's identify the minerals. And what are they? Actually, minerals being classified into two is the micro-minerals and the macro-minerals. So what are the minerals under macro-minerals? First is the calcium, chloride, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and sulfur. How about the micro-minerals? We have the chromium, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, and zinc. Now, let's talk about minerals. The body requires a number of minerals in order to maintain its proper functioning. The minerals are used for a variety of physiological processes such as building blood and bone, making hormones, regulating heartbeat, and more. There are two types of minerals the macrominerals and trace minerals or known to be as the microminerals. Macrominerals are needed in a larger amount. Just like water and air, your body needs minerals to keep you healthy. Microminerals often referred to us as trace minerals, which means that they are present at low levels in the body or required in smaller amounts. That's all for now guys! Thank you for watching guys and if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel wellness today by hazel and hit the notification bell for more updates